Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, I'm gonna be showing you my newest custom. Well, one of two new customs, which is Deadpool. I made a few Deadpools already, of course. This is the first time I've used this type of body. This is for a returning customer, and he wanted a more sleek, slim Deadpool with a better range of motion in his articulation, and this body has just about as much as you can ask for. I did increase the articulation in the ankles a bit, but it's uh, it's pretty good to start with, so I was happy with that. Now this is the Captain Marvel body, mostly. I did add some things and change some things, but he stands roughly six, just under six and a half inches tall, maybe six and three eighths. So he's standard size, but he does have from the factory a really long neck. So I cut that down. I uh, I chopped the neck and I resized that and I put it back down there and resculpted over it. So he's got a shorter neck and he's got Deadpool forearms, Series Six Deadpool forearms, and Deadpool lower legs because my customer wanted to keep those. He liked the way those looked, and we just chopped them onto the body. Little bit of. Uh, tweaking here and there, but a little sculpting in the forearms and the legs, but relatively painless process. He also wanted the removable shoulder holster harness like I did for Lady Deadpool, so I did that. We'll get into that in a minute. And he wanted three different heads, so we have the Toy Biz Deadpool head right there, we have the Bowen statue shrunken head right there, and we have the two-pack Deadpool head, or this now single-carded Deadpool head. So he's got three interchangeable heads. They are interchangeable via magnets. Of course, that's what I always do, so that works there. Um, the holster, the leg holster, is from the Deadpool, and it can be removed if you want to. It's just slid on there. It's tighter than the standard Deadpool since I had the piping or the seam work on there, so it's not going to fall off like they normally do, but um, that way you can take it off if you want to or not. And I re-sculpted the holster to fit a different gun because I like the gun better. The belt is a modified belt from the two-pack Deadpool. I made it removable and loose, and you can just unsnap it like the original figure if you want to. So the belt's a separate piece so that it doesn't impede the articulation either in the legs or the waist and it still fits down in place the way you want it to but if you need to bring the legs up and the pouches are hanging over it'll just raise up or move with the top part of the waist or the bottom part or in between to hide the seam however you want to do that it's good it allows for better posability really. Now on to the shoulder holsters so he wanted the guns just like Lady Deadpool had so those are in there but they come out of course so he's got two guns for the shoulder holster and he also wanted to just like Lady Deadpool be able to hide these away if he didn't want them so I made those movable and you can relocate them to the back of the harness and tuck them under so that you don't have the pistol holsters hanging out from the side so those just kinda of tuck in back there and it's a little bit cleaner looking up front if you want if not, they swing around just as easily as they go back. And then, of course, he's got the sword holder back there, which is sculpted to fit the sword so that it kind of snaps in place. And it's just a small little holder. We didn't want to go with sheaths because they get in the way, as is normal for the Deadpools I make. So that's just nice and compact and doesn't really get too bulky or too ugly. So that's nice. He still has the original... Um, flight stand hole up there. I also put one lower in the back so that when you do have everything on his back you can still put the flight stand in there and give him some nice poses. As far as accessories go, as you saw he's got the two swords, the two pistols that have been painted up to look like he customized them. Same thing with the rest of his guns. He's got a couple submachine guns, a shotgun, and a sniper rifle just because I thought that'd be a nice touch. And why not? Don't usually give Deadpool a sniper, so I thought that'd be fun. So he is, um, he might be my favorite Deadpool that I've made. I don't know, I say that every time, probably, or at least close to every time. I really like the uh, X-Force, no, Weapon X Deadpool, but this one does have just such great articulation, and he's got such a nice look to him, I think. I was, uh, I was super happy with how he turned out, just the proportions. I really like this body. Now that I've modified it, modified the neck and added a couple different things, but... 
I don't know, I just think it turned out pretty well, so I'm happy, the customer's happy. What more could you ask for? One last thing, um, two last things, I guess. The seam work is all how I normally do it with the uh, wire insulation, so that's all on there. Everywhere the red meets the black, and the black is like a satin black, and the red is all dry brushed red over black to give it a nice worn look and of course all of the buttons and pouches and everything like that have the silver detailing on there so there it is guys there's my newest deadpool with this new body which i kind of hope i make another one because i really like this body now so there it is let me know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned for more custom figures more figure reviews and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting